It's the rundown, April 25th. It is brought to you by SeatGeek. You get $10 off your first purchase. Um, use the promo code RUNDOWN. Tickets, there is so much sports going on. NBA playoffs, NHL playoffs, baseball, also concerts, everything else. Also, just found out, Tommy, I'd like to give you a quick shout out. You said uh, your Curb Your Enthusiasm script was picked as the best paper in both English yeah. classes. Well, so I have a writing for sitcoms class. We've been writing a scene or an episode of a series all semester long. I was writing Curb Your Enthusiasm. My professor said, of all our two classes, best script. So it's going to be read tonight, live can reading we, at what's Fordham the, what's University. The, like, okay, wait, can we do like, uh, what's the Michael Scott script? Can we do a live reading yeah, of I was script? thinking about like blogging it. Yeah, it'd have to be like, no, a, it's 30 like, pages. Let's sit around yeah, and like do a live read. Live right, read. Yeah. yeah, what was the... Zero, yeah. the uh, Michael Zarn's zero... What? Yeah, Michael Scar in the Scarn. office. Yeah, it wasn't any of the episode. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. What? Threat Level Threat Level Midnight. Threat level midnight. What's, yeah. the, what's the big... Pickle that Cur or that Larry David gets. I uh, know spoilers. No Come on, spoilers. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't want to actually spoil. I think we just, give just do it. Spoiler. Let's read it. Let's one let's spoiler. bring it in. We'll do. We'll read it. We'll do your okay. episode. You can do it. We'll sit around. Susie in it a lot? No, no Susie. It's okay. a Larry heavy episode. Larry okay. heavy. Cool. The only about recurring Funk character Hauser? in it besides him is Leon. No, Jerry, Funk, Jerry no, Lewis. no Funkhauser. Just Leon. Just right. so just well, Leon and Larry. Well, no, no, no. There's other characters. The only recurring character besides Larry. Okay. No Jeff. No, Jeff. That's weird. Mm. All right, we'll read it. We'll see us out. I don't know if I like Well, this how many script. people are in it? We're going to need a lot of people. I don't know if I like uh, this script. It's what? All right, we'll do it. We'll, It'll, we'll, be we'll It'll be a fun. It'll be a good go. Uh, do you make any racist jokes? No. You have to think about it. <laughs> there's there's some racial <laughs> tension, some comedy, yeah. as per well, usual. Well, there's no Larry and no racist yeah. jokes. Leon heavy episode. Yeah. Say the funniest. No, no, no. Not the funniest racist joke out loud right now. No. All right. The man said no spoilers. And, uh, Speaking of racism, we're United Nations <laughs> up here. Uh, NBA, we got the NBA tonight. Uh, let's start what with the fuck? That was a great yeah. segment. It was an intro, yeah. You, I said United Nations up here. It's very different, un usually. Uh, NBA, into the playoffs. Uh, I, I've been watching all the games. Uh, I'll start with my guys, Celtics. They got screwed. Uh, I don't know how, the end of that game when, when Jalen Brown was on like the breakaway, they didn't call a foul. And I'm not one of those guys generally, it's like one, but that play, I mean, you go from up three probably with 40 seconds, instant transition three the other way. That play hurt. Um, Cavs, I had Indiana in the over yesterday. That the hurt. over not hitting was that brutal. Hurt. And that last three, by the way, yep. would have put it over. Yep. The, it was yep. a tough three. Yeah. So that was a dagger game for me. Um, interesting playoffs all the way around. Uh, I, I got shut out on the T-Wolves. I thought they were gonna kill the, the Rockets, they did. Uh, San Antonio still alive. Thoughts? You, I guess you can go anywhere with any of it. I, the number one story is probably Cleveland struggling with Indiana, which this is a different Cleveland team. I think mm -hmm. anyone who doesn't think this is nope. a different Cleveland Crunch team. Crunch time yesterday against uh, in a game four must win, essentially. Mm -hmm. None of the guys they traded for were on the court. Yeah. That's no tough. What? No Hill, no Clarkson, nope. no Nance. Yeah, that's like, tough. Yeah. That's tough when you make the big trade that, that shakes up your whole team and none of those guys can be trusted. They're not the good. That and, yeah, they're not. And, and not saying one play can make a difference, but that that Steven, Lance Stevenson when he just traveled. Well that play that was crazy. That was something. The, they also got scared of Kyle Corver. Like that's basically if the cat if Kyle Corver can shoot lights out, they have a chance because you saw it at the end. It was I think the second to last possession. Where someone, I, some guy tried to guard LeBron one on one, and LeBron did the thing where he got the full steam ahead from the three point line, and that's yep. you, you that's actually can't yeah. guard that yeah. because all because Kyle Korver was making a shot, so everyone, no one could help. So if Kyle Korver makes his shots, I guess I could see a way that LeBron just keeps dropping like forty points, and he's gonna have to. Right. Yeah, he's gonna have right. to. I mean, Indiana's okay. They're not yeah. great either. No, it's, this isn't. Like, other teams that have, have actually played LeBron have been better than this Indiana team, I think. But the, the Cavs just aren't very right. good. Correct. Yeah. And We're, they're not going to turn. Yeah. Anyone who's waiting for the light switch is not going to happen. No, it's just whether LeBron can be superhuman every single time they win a game. I well, think, yeah, I think the thing is, like, the years past, they had that chemistry where they could turn it on. Now, they don't, he don't know the guys well enough to, to And cut there's it no on. second option. Like, yeah. LeBron had to play the entire second half. Years past, he can sit for a couple of minutes and Kyrie can run the offense. They yeah. were almost summed up in one play late. I mean, it's a miracle they won that game where they just they did a pass where there's miscommunication went right out yeah, of yeah. like a corner mm -hmm. three. Yeah. Like the guys haven't played together. If 
I think the Sixers are the favorite to win the East, and I like I just don't see any way that Cleveland would really beat them. I will say the Sixers the other day. I was getting chirped again from Philadelphia. But anybody who watched that Philadelphia, I just said you had to get Embiid was so bad. But he was good defensively. He was yeah. okay, def- but yeah, great. I think he had six blocks. He, that's yeah, a but lot. he literally turned the ball over every time. Yeah, he no, it. he yeah. fell down. But he not only turned it over, he right. fell down. But that's scary <laughs> that the Sixers were won a game where Embiid was that trash offensively. Well, that's he's yeah. usually the only guy who can score in the fourth quarter. We talked about that on Barstool Radio that I thought there'd be somewhat of an adjustment before yeah. because he just he's been missing. He was trash that game. And yeah, I know he he's a great defense player. I get it. When you literally Every time you touch the ball, you shoot, miss badly, or just fall down. He was, and he's a great player. I think Embiid's awesome. But he was anybody who didn't get that he was trash that game needs to have their head examined. He was trash. What do you got? You got thoughts about the playoffs? I, I think they're good. Yeah, the playoffs are actually good. No, did, I'm, I'm interested to see with the Celtics because I was tempted to pick against them, and I should have. I don't know if they can score enough points to beat the Bucks. They actually covered that game, but it. Uh, and the overhit, crazily. 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 What well, I mean, all right, insane. I'm a Celtics fan, so always the unbiased perspective. Do you think Celtics fans have a right to gripe about that call? I think that's, I mean. That was blatant. You have a right to gripe, but at the end of the day, calls go your way sometimes, they don't go your way. Like, the refs are human. I don't know, they that fucked was... up that. I can't believe they reviewed that Lance Stevenson jump ball and called it a foul. Like, that I didn't even know you could do that. Too. Was that called a jump ball originally? Yes, it was called, it was called a jump, jump ball. ball. I yeah. thought maybe two different guys yeah. called it. You can review a jump ball. I, I don't know, but that, that just that should right. happen. No, that can't be right. It, it might have been last see, two minutes. No, I mean, that can't be right. It might have been was the last it was two reported minutes. reported it wasn't called a jump ball. Yeah, you report, can't review that. Right. When you were watching it real time, you saw it looked like, like he pointed at there, there like, yeah, He ran in like there that. There had yeah. to be two reps. You cannot yeah. overrule that. After the fact, they were There's no way if you call a jump ball on the court. I thought they went to see if there was a technical on what's his face for pushing. There's no way you, if it was called jump ball in court, that you can reverse but, that. But Jeff Green point also is, traveled on yeah. that play, too. Was it less than two minutes? Because under can't Yeah, but you can't review a call. I was going to say, yeah, so you But you can't review a call. Right, you can't, like, outright That was a foul, that, that was call, not right. a foul. Right. You, it's like, yeah. that's not reviewable. Right. Right. But my point right. is, like, it, oh, the Wizards game. The Wizards ended up, ended up winning. But if you watch that game, the sixth foul they called on uh, Bradley Beal was maybe the worst foul. Yeah. Like, Kyle Lowry just ran into him and they called a foul. Like, that happens basically every single game. So yeah, you can gripe, but I'm sure it will come back your way at some point. Too. I had Washington first half. Like, oh, that's I think the Wizards, <laughs> dude, when the Wizards, when Wall and Beal actually They're like f- actively don't hate each other uh, and they channel mm-hmm. their energy against the other team, like the Raptors. Fakest team they'll go on is Washington because they do that. No, you but the Raptors it. are the fakest team too because they. Can, I feel like Wall and Beal, if they just keep kind of bullying them a little bit, the yeah, they're like the fold. anti-Lowry and DeRozan. Like they right. step it yes. up. They, right, they yeah. have that mean streak that the Raptors yeah. don't have. Yeah, but when I say fakest, like you, you, I do what you do. You watch when Wall's on and Beal's on. You're like this team can be anybody. They're awesome, and then they'll just go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, no, they they're, they, they're as, fools gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, they are the two, maybe the most talented backcourt. Maybe. I'm trying to think who up, would be up I mean, there. Steph and Clay. Steph and Clay, yeah, that's not, that's number there, one, yeah. and then like, yeah, Washington won't win two. the series. But, but I don't know. No, they won't. No, they won't win Toronto. I think they could, but but you are right that like the Wall Beal thing doesn't work. It it doesn't work like for you a long walk, when, of time. when it's working, you, your jaw hits right. the wheel like oh my Correct. god, these guys are. But like, the fact that it does it still doesn't work at times when they're in year whatever four or five of this is kind of crazy. And what's going yeah. on in Toronto? Like, how do they get all those people to show up in a square for uh, basketball and hockey? Yeah. I crazy. don't get that. I just don't get <laughs> they love Who are these people? We the North. <laughs> like, the, the North. that square is always, like, on the bananas Jurassic Park, and everything. Yeah. Crazy, crazy the, And is it the town. same people? They just peel off, like, one jersey? They're sitting there for the hockey now? I mean, between... between Segway to the NHL Well, playoffs. between the hockey and the basketball, and then, uh, what was it, two years ago, when they those Blue Jays home games that were, like... Yeah. They, those were, like, the Thunderdome. Mm-hmm. Toronto's a pretty good sports city. Uh, the NHL playoffs, the Flyers gone. They blew a two-goal two lead, then lost by 100. Another game I got shut out on. Instead, I bet on Colorado in the over. Double loser, 5 nothing blowout. We have the Bruins tonight. Not worried. I thought they dominated. That, that, as a hockey guy, the thing that drives me nuts about hockey is you can just dominate a game and the puck just doesn't go in. And you just lose. It's like, mm-hmm. well, we played, we just dominated and lost. That's what happened in the Bruins' last game. Uh, I, I'm still confident in the series. 
Uh, anything else? Uh, no, I guess not. Oh, I, I had this theory. Nick Bonino, our guy. Mm -hmm. I think he's like the key to the playoffs. He's now on Nashville. I think he'll win because of Nashville. All Bonino does is nothing during the regular season. Yeah. And then Score the playoffs, he's every, he, he scores 100 goals mm -hmm. in the playoffs. That's crazy. Yeah. So shout out to my guy, Nick Bonino. Anything on you guys for hockey? Flyers fans throwing shit on the ice. Oh, they're trash. I kind of like that, though. Yeah. Something like they were just throwing shit. They were throwing, throw like, full beer cans and pizza and shit like that. But it was, it was one of those perfect moments where... If they you're watching that goal, game, yeah. uh, you're like, okay, when do the Flyer fans start throwing shit on the I ice? And then they did. And it's nice every now and then to have stereotypes live up to themselves. That you can believe in that. Yeah, one. right, right. Gotcha. Are you a hockey guy? Nah. That's a stereotype that lives up to itself right there. That's two. I wasn't even going to lie, yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, also, the Flyers, Penguins, beautiful to watch. Every, every The colors? Yeah. It was like... Yeah. It was autumn in New England. But it, it was wasn't beautiful. that wasn't that uh, the Flyers Penguins? I feel like happens every single year, and, and same they thing. score hundred goals yeah. every single game. Uh, that game was four two Flyers. <laughs> then it was like five four, and then you looked, it was like a hundred to four. Yeah, right. Like, and that that's how Flyer right. fans will. Smitty's taking off his oh, sling and throwing it on. Um, run oh, down. He's, he is Brought, giving you the death stare right Smitty? now. Smitty, <laughs> he just was. Oh, he's shaking his head he's like giving you growling. A he's missing it again. Growling. He's, he's giving you a but that's not death stare. That's like a smirk. <laughs> no, now he's got the smirk, but he a second ago it was uh, to kill you. State and Liberty, 10% off all purchases this week. Promo code RUNDOWN. The coat made famous by the Pizza Review. Um, that's the one that they gave everybody in the office. 10% off all purchases only this week. Good deal from State and Liberty. Um, Jay Feely posted a picture, <laughs> went viral with his daughter and Prom date is holding the gun, like have a good time. The internet went bananas over this. Um, guns obviously in the news, high school shootings. I read K. Marco's blog, I gotta agree with him. I mean, if you don't get that this was a joke, then I don't know what to say to you. Okay. This is I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's a funny joke. I get that it's a joke. I just don't think it's funny. So no, you, it's you had a problem joke. with it. I have a problem. I just like wait, I see what wait, you're trying do you, to do. You don't think it's funny, or did you have a problem? Were you were you like, were, were you more? Do you think people were within their rights to be outraged, or you just didn't think it was funny? I just didn't think it was funny. Right. I see what he was going for. I just didn't think it was. Yeah, funny. I, I thought it was funny enough. I didn't do. think it was that funny. I think it was just yeah, lame. I think, and yeah. I, I mean, Jay Feely's a loser. Like he wore two gloves as a kicker. He's a fucking loser. I will say. He's and he remember he had the classic tweet a few years ago. It was like, I don't play video games. I live life. Yeah. Like he's a loser. So <laughs> I have no problem with the joke. I'm not sitting here saying I, the people who did Twitter threads and like this is problematic for this reason and this right, reason yeah, I don't and this feel reason. Like that. I just, get out of here. Right. But you can also say the joke sucked and Jay Feely's a yeah. loser and not be like I'm not offended by it. I just think he's a loser. I didn't think yeah. it was as bad a joke. I mean, to me, it was weird for him to post it on Twitter. It seems like you take a picture. It's a kind of a funny. Also, going if, you're, if you're going to do it, like go all the way. Put the gun to his head. You know what I mean? Make him eat some. Yeah, make some eat some fucking. his toes off. Metal. Yeah, that's right. not scary. Like, put it in his mouth. Like, like, like how they do in like, like lethal. Like you can hear it in the yeah, mouth. Yeah, didn't it, did it feel like kind of a half ass though? Kind of holding it down here. No, I thought like, it was. I mean, I, really, really go for it. Make get him on his knees. I wasn't like slapping Boondock my Saints knee. And, like right, you know. I wasn't slapping my knee, but I thought it was fine. I was like, I get it. It's kind of a funny joke. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's a joke that's been made four billion times. It's, 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 it's a, a small guy. Joke. He's like five eight five. Like he was like the same height as like yeah. the high school kid. What if? Yeah. What if like her date showed him was like six five? Like you're not pointing. Well, that's why you like, get the. Yeah. That's what that's guns what the gun beat. For. It don't matter how tall you are. You gun. What if he got a gun dead. too? Well, then then we have a standoff. Yeah. Mm. Then we have a good then that old. Then that changes. Now Prom got now, fun. Good old fashioned duel. Now it's who's faster. It's not who's taller. It's who's quicker. Touche. Um. Speaking of guys getting hit and whatnot, on a plane, American airline, this guy was supposedly uh, groping a girl, and they called the cops, so they take him off the plane. This is an amazing video. I put the video in there for a couple things. First of all, I don't know if the tase is working, but this guy acted like he, was, he, he could not be tased. Like, he got tased for three minutes straight and didn't seem to be affected. And then the other part that I thought was very funny is the people who's sitting in the seat where this all went down, and they just have a guy getting tased and like six cops mm -hmm. on these two like girls just curled up in the corner. Hey, you're from this totally fine. You're good. Thank you. Tell them the first date. Nah. Not fight. 
Do not fight. Do not fight. Do not fight. Do not fight. Do you understand that? No, no. You listen. Do you understand that? I'm asking you right now. Because you have to answer. Tasing. Back up, guys. Back up. Back up. Back up. And you'll see what happens. Johnson, watch out. Yeah, watch out. No, no, no. Johnson, watch out. No, Johnson, go ahead. Go ahead, Johnson. Go ahead, Johnson. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. You're like a little baby. Okay, you think? You got him? You think? So I'm asking you now. Right, it takes a take. I have a seat for you, so I'm going to die. Oh! Woo! Yo, dog. No. Yeah, come up over yeah. here. Dude. Interesting video. And as I forget to vlog it, the plane was only delayed an hour, which is like crazy. Yeah, that's wow. That's the best part about this story. The fact that they got this plane. I mean, you would think a tasing on a plane would mean that you're stuck in the city for a long time. Yeah. Right. You have to like cancel the flight. Right. This seems like a serious event. We had to. Yeah. They, they, a taser on somebody. Yeah. There's a lot lesser events that have seemingly delayed planes for a lot longer. Right. Uh. Was he hitting? Was he groping this girl while her boyfriend was next to him too? I think I read that. I, I read it as the girl may have called her boyfriend. They're like, "Yo, I'm getting groped on the plane," and the guy called because it seemed like the guy didn't confront the groper, but like somehow tattled on him. Well, that would have been. I mean, that guy was like a buck fifty. I would have loved to be on that flight. That's like everyone's dream. Well, maybe you not. To be like Mark Wahlberg it and just tackle him. He's like five, six. Yeah, citizen yeah, arrest? Just... I'd love to citizen <laughs> arrest this fucker. The only thing, though, is like three cops are having a problem. He right. had like drunk muscles or something going on. Mm. I could have citizen arrested him. Um, I think once the cops get there, you, you know. Also, it's probably tough to fight in a plain aisle. It's very close oh, quarters. Yeah. yeah, that's like when they, but they, first they move, fight in a phone booth. Right, but if you get mm. them first move, you just kind of spear them. Then you're probably, it's probably your game, right? You get him on the ground. I yeah, think yeah. a lot. Like you say he's one fifty. If you can just get him on the ground, yeah, right. Yeah, that's a yeah, ground and pound him. I think a lot. What happens is the little. El I, my favorite MMA is when they just elbow the guy in the like face, like really there. softly, and then Joe Rogan says, "Well, those are gonna add up." And it's just like he's just like lightly brushing him, and they don't do anything for three minutes, and he's just like, "Oh, he's really getting him now." I feel like if you spear somebody in a plane as well, a lot will depend on just who gets the like cheap shot from like the elbow right, pad. Right. Like you're getting, you're going down and getting more injured like on the fall on what you bang into. Right. right. And that, how you land. Yes. Is going to turn. Yeah, you could end up with a Charlie yeah. horse on one of the yeah. fucking seat rest. Right. It changes the whole thing. Tommy. The boyfriend was not on the plane, but Got he it. contacted authorities. So I think so my she must have texted the boyfriend and been like. See, I would have, I would have definitely said, like if I had noticed it on the plane, I would have. Like when we were on that flight and those people were drunk as shit. Yeah, that was crazy. We were close to being. Do you think like, she was on the phone while being groped? Like, mid -gro yo, I'm getting groped like right now. You see, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I, I'm like weirded like this, but I'm always when I get on a plane like eyes out for, like a confrontation I can get involved in. Oh, I'm not. Baby I keep, yeah, I, I'm, I'm eyes yeah. averted. Yeah, I, li I like <laughs> to like someone yelling, some some kind of situation going down. Like let me get let me get my my moment to shine. Mm. Uh, this this is coming. That'll be the moment I made it when someone blogs something and then like they don't even realize and out of nowhere I just pop in and I'm like, is there a confrontation going down? Like, do you need is he, is he giving you arrest? trouble, man? <laughs> yes. That's what you gotta yeah. say. Yeah. Um, last story that we got on here, and this may be a little Patriots, but Gronk was in the news because he's giving press conference, he's sponsoring Monster Energy. They had this motocross race. He is at Gillette uh, giving all sorts of press That's conferences. Awkward. It's awkward, <laughs> and I'm telling you what, he's coming across as an asshole. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been in communication with Belichick about you know, your plans and all that stuff? Uh, uh, just monster motocross I've been learning about today. I mean, it's going to be a great riding out there. People are going to get some big air. Vroom, vroom, really good. I can ride that bike like no other. And uh, my speed is up there. Are you still contemplating retirement from the football? Uh, depends on how my racing skills go today. Uh, <laughs> I think I can be. I, 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 I think, I, I think you're, you might be too tall, so football might be the place where you go. Oh, we're about to find I out. I see a guy, he's retired. Oh, Rob Nankovic, hey. <laughs> <laughs> How's it feel hey, to be retired? Yeah. Oh, it's great. I'm less painful. Uh, quick question. 
Other than 87, if you had a number plate, what would be your other number that you would love to rock other than 87 on the, the track? Oh my gosh, what's the best number out there? Four. Number four. Number four? Yeah, four. number okay, four. Okay, like four, 50? 52, I'm thinking number. 50, your number. Yeah. Maybe 54. 54, yeah, you got those two. Yeah. Good yeah. stuff. And I don't know if he knows that he's coming across as an asshole, but he's coming across as an asshole. Like when they're like, hey, you're gonna play football this year since you're at Gillette? And he's just like, I know how to vroom vroom. And it's just wearing a little bit thin, Gronk. Wearing a little bit thin, and again, I think it's the people who surround him, but it's just not the best look, I would say. And I think it actually said that on the Patriots website, not best look from Gronk. It isn't. He's at Gillette, dressed in motocross gear, being an asshole. Um, you gotta stop with that. Maybe the Dante the Don can reel him in. Oh no, he couldn't get him to do that interview in San Francisco, so I doubt it. That was a, that was a ricochet shot on the, on the Don. <laughs> Jesus. I, do you think there's a chance he's trying to get traded? Like, that's all. When I watched it, his way out. Yeah, when maybe. I watched I it, see that. he's definitely saying, you know what, I'm going to do whatever I want this offseason, and Belichick's going to eventually get fed up with me and trade me. He, he, and he always does whatever he wants, and the Patriots are fine with it, but <laughs> that is like. That's A Rod. That's walking in and pissing on whoa, someone's whoa. carpet. No, that was marking. What? That's those Carpets are not a, at all like. No, that's like an obnoxious like power move by Grant. Like that, we, I, a power like, move. I'm gonna do yes. what you, I want until you yeah, do something about it. Right. Pissing on some. There's nothing obnoxious about pissing on someone's floor when, <laughs> well, you're, do, when like, you're doing a power move. <laughs> Just check that, will you? That's. By the I mean, way, I know he's your guy. I was. Li I watched. I had. It was great. Game. He, he says some stuff that's... Yeah, he's great. Yeah, you never... Yeah, <laughs> some, you learn a he's, lot. He says some stuff... You learn stuff a lot more than ...during you Sunday Night Baseball that is... Great. I'll finish quite the sentence for you. Great. Quite interesting. Great. <laughs> he's, like, absolutely great. surreal Ooh. to listen to, actually. Hey, right. uh, he's... Yeah. He's... He's, uh, he's something Dave's, else. Dave's, yeah. Dave's just a little jealous because it, it's a competition between Dave and A-Rod for best boss of the year mm. in my personal record books. I it's like it. Early he's making, it's early. Still he's early. making it it's interesting. Early. He it's said early. something yesterday. I almost did it. He just said one thing and then a second yeah, later it was Yeah, you, oh, you couldn't stop watching. Oh, I love watching. it. That was uh, Charles Barkley last night. <laughs> said the uh, game four was a must win for the Cavs and the Pacers. Ooh. So, yeah, I don't know what, I don't know where they go from must that. must tie, yeah. Yeah, must win. Just dropping some knowledge. So. Uh, all right, anything post-show? I know we're going to talk a little bit after you see the Nardini email. No. Uh, oh, yeah, who oh, was it? Oh, that was YP. Oh. So y YP had a party YP here. YP had a little at, kegger uh, here. I, I guess 5 a.m. and decided not to clean up. 5 a.m.? Oh, yeah, he was here. When, he what treats day? this apparently he treats it like his apartment. Uh, wow. uh, this was last night. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What time did you get here? So uh, I went to a nightclub with a few guys that invited me out. Afterwards, they were like, do you mind if we come by the office? I was like... The answer is no. I mean, normally or I was yes, like, no. yes, I do mind. I was hesitant. There was like... Well, at any months. level where you're like, well, I'm kind of low on the totem pole, so I'm not sure that I should be the guy that just opens the office up to my friends and family whenever I feel like it? Uh, it was definitely a hesitation. I knew some of them knew you from like... That doesn't fly. No, I'm just saying I, yeah, I didn't know fly. like who it was, whatever. And I thought that was from like up. Saturday afternoon, and, oh, the, no. and the cleaner just didn't go to the second no, no, floor. No, 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 no. YP I think thinks this is his apartment. Wow, of not, some sort. I that's a wild all. move. That was I should have cleaned up. That was wrong. I'm. That was stupid. Yeah, what was the cleanup thought process in your head there? Just walk away. Uh, no, I mean there was more cups and stuff that I cleaned up, and then I I don't know I left those ones on the tables. No, obviously not a very calculated move. It's pretty stupid. Whew. Wildly stupid. I did not stupid. realize that, yeah. Wildly stupid. I would say there's, I said it today, I think there's three to four people in this company who should feel comfortable being like, yeah, come to the office at 5 a.m., we'll open up and drink. Not one of them. And all three or four of those people would never be out at 5 a.m. inviting people in to drink. I know I wouldn't. I, I, you might. No, I've done once, a uh, late hockey challenge though yeah. which is a little different yeah, yeah. but no it, it it this is not a club and it wasn't for content it was just yp being like i own this place come up we'll drink and hang out here late night uh very stupid move that was met by i'd say an appropriate response from erica being like uh wake up and just stunning 
I said, take some balls. Take some serious balls. Do you think this has anything to do with having been on a little bit of a hot streak? People were saying your KFC radio appearance was great. You got the hockey show. Maybe mm -hmm. feeling right well. high. That, a that's bit. usually what happens at Barstool is you can bat, you can basically reverse engineer every fuck up to being like that person Let's was just on a hot the streak the last week oh, and, we'll and leave thought the place they were crushing it. So who came in? Did Erica come in? Who took those oh, pictures? It was Resnick. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, I mean it was what? stupid. I don't, who cleaned I don't up after you? Ebony. Hmm. Yikes. Mm. Not great. Yikes. It's a quick way to get booted off Team Porn, especially Ooh. a couple of them know me. What is that? Like, yeah, what? Yeah, what? Mm. I don't, I mean, I shouldn't have even tried to make an excuse. That was stupid. Yeah. How do they know them, though? They're the devils. Oh, <laughs> you're hanging out with the devils. Got it. They don't have an apartment? I don't know. Apparently not. Late night. We're an after. We're like rise in Boston, like an after after hours club. Apparently. Yeah, I mean we we are put. Yeah, I guess we we should start charging. We have to have a doorman here at all times. <laughs> I mean. Anything else? <laughs> oh man, I didn't realize that's how that went down. <laughs> oh yeah. Oof. Oh yeah. YP's in for a long Gaz afternoon. is so excited when I watch. He's like, you see that email? I'm oh, like, no. Yeah. I'm like, what email are you talking about? He's, he's set for a while now. <laughs> this yeah. is, yeah. That's the other part about fucking up when you're in the bullpen. Everyone else gets the... Oh, yeah. Nate's probably pretty happy. Oh, he's very happy. Very happy. Shaking his head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He knows. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> no, no yeah. you're not. Yeah. So, uh, anything else? How long are you here for? Till Friday. All right. Got here all week. So, that's the rundown.